so we will create a structure and we'll learn about manage structure how to manage a structure so first of all our requirement is like what is the structure okay first thing first you should understand what is a structure uh, test epic name okay so what is the structure structures like to provide the view hierarchy view of your issues like epic is there right now i have created this epic right under this epic i am going to create a story also uh, let me add request any request uh, come here click on link link issue okay relates to which issue i want i want any request uh, test uh, this is the testing group i am adding this one a link okay this link is there let me open this issue in the another tab and here let's create a subtask uh, testing it's done can you get this view in the uh, jql it's not possible it is not going to provide um, provide the law hierarchy because uh, in the jql we can see only issues we can filter out the issues that's why we are using the structure let's create a structure empty structure uh, view the structure got created now you want to add the issues how you are going to add issues so this is the one way which we already talked insert issue okay or there are any other view also is there click here in the double grid or run the jql whatever you are running the jql it will come here just control a all issues and like this uh, you can select all the issues and after selecting all the issues uh, you can copy over here okay I don't like this view I want this view only uh, insert issues jql query project equal to jt and issue type equal to epic click on apply I can see only one epic which we have created now the requirement how to add another values how to add those relates to the request and those subtasks over here to add those one just click on plus symbol here you will get option extend linked issue here which option you want it was relates which one relates to like this or like this or like this you can select okay relates to which level you want i want all level click on apply extend you can see now i can see the uh, structure in this test if i currently i can see this one but under it there is one subtask is there i am not able to see the subtask come here let's add the subtask uh, main thing if you are here then only you will be able to but if you have selected this and here also you will get the plus option if here you are selecting it will give add a generator under this one so which is going to give the error okay so always select this option and do the changes click on extend subtask i want all the subtasks all level click on apply now click here i can see it okay if there are n number of uh, other issues are there okay you can uh, see those issues as well 
like under on uh, another type of blocks is there is so link is blocks or any other you can see those as well okay so like this you can see now the requirement insert we already saw filter if you want to remove any duplicates you can use if you want to jekyll query like i want only component or uh, jira component value or any specific component or any sprint value then use this uh, one okay if you want to do the sorting based on any value components or assignee you can use uh, the component as well plus group you can do the group by also you can add the issues let me edit it if you want to edit just double click on that it will open A request click on apply i will be able to see all the issues in all these issues let me open it's having the subtask that's why it's saying it's having the subtask that's why it's saying let me open in the new tab in the new tab these two issues and here let's uh, mm, assign to jira kt this one also assigned to jira kt jira kt okay click on plus come here all structure are there now i want to do the group wise okay if you want to sort you can do the sorting as well click here click on sort how i want i want assignee i can uh, it's sort by assignee but assignee value is not there so how to add the uh, column so adding column you can see this plus symbol over here just click on it, it add uh, assignee assignee will come okay let me open some other issues as well these two and assign to me assign to me come here okay so you can see it's changed automatically why because we have used automation one if you remove the automation it will not work okay let me show you jt6 i am assigning to me come here so it work but automation not worked because it should be here okay it's not working but let me click on automation all the issues will be in the one place like this it's it will work now another thing if you want to add values add column click on plus symbol you can add which you already saw any number of oh and let me show some you can see the progress of this it's 100 percent or let me show you some other example uh, in this one uh, let me add some field i am stopping the video i will add the field then i will show you i have added a story point field in my jira issue type and uh, you can see i have added these two values these two not the requirement i want to show these two points over here the total story points so that is also possible right your requirement is like this is the epic just take example this is the epic under that epic uh, there are 10 to 5 uh, 5 to 10 or 15 stories are there under those stories subtasks are there and you want the uh, total story points of that epic so you cannot have uh, with the help of normal uh, jira so for just seeing purpose you can use this one okay and just click here and here uh, story points story points you can see 5 plus 10 18 story points is showing because there are some issue also is there 3 this is well as having the 3 that's why it's showing the total 18 okay got the point if you will add any one i am going to add this uh, story points in this one 
let me add I am adding 100 come here it will change so like this you can see this one as well now my requirement is uh, uh, okay so this like this you can add click here if you want to change the scrolling and all this is the basic view your modified view or planning view you can see all those things if you want to change the issue details only just click on this if you want the planning view you can select this planning view so you can see original estimate uh, the remaining estimate etc come here if you want the tracking one just click on the tracking you can see the status will come it's a closed status or it's in progress you can see all the details you can see these are the uh, showing in the green these are showing in the green why let me show you come here you can see resolution is done so this is showing based on the resolution only okay come here this is showing the f based on the resolution okay if you want to change any field from one location to another like this you can do okay now if you want to see the uh, structure setting click on manage structure here you will get the configure option click on configure you can change the name you can change the description who's the owner you can change the owner also all the permissions you can see over here add rule options limit etc click on back you can check all your favorite uh, structure all the structure in which all the structure you are having the permission you can see over here if you want to copy the structure just click on copy if you want to import export just import export or delete the structure let's open this one in our structure i don't want this uh, value okay now i was uh, okay first of all i don't want this one so how to remove just select this one click on this so it cannot remove why because it's coming from the jql if it's a manually added then we can do that one always remember okay i don't want this add subtask i don't want this relates on you can select one remove so it got removed so like this you can remove i don't want the sorting now just click on this one so sorting is now is not there now i want to use the group click on group how i want i want to do the grouping by assigning it's not working because I have selected this option you need to select here click on plus group assigning okay it's going to assign uh, grouping so how it's group you can see all the assignees so these are the two assignees and all issues under this one means unassigned you can see over here under this user how many issues are assigned these two under this these three so like this you can see now come here effector if you want to effect a attribute to issue field okay click on this one okay attribute assigning field assigning okay save and run process ready to start let's click on run okay zero because we haven't given any value we haven't given any value now i want to give some of the value limits to uh, reporter click on save and run click on run this is going to change do you want to change all these issues yes i want to change click on apply all it's under queued let's wait for some time 93 it's completed okay click on view history this effector is changed what it's done it's changed the assigning okay you can see jira sme jira sme jira sme okay all these issue were non-assigned these issue were assigned to jira kt 
so whatever unassigned issues and the uh, assigned issue also all got changed to jira sma okay from reporter to assignee value we have changed if you want to revert all just click on revert before this just go back click on acknowledge i want to remove this now you can see all are the jira sme okay go back you can see all issues are these this jira sme is the reporter so like this effector works so effector is very very powerful if any changes happen it will change everything okay let's use revert all click on okay these two completed it's under q let's view you can see it's changed now three issues were there under jira category so like this we can use the jira effector we have checked all the option insert filter sort group extend effector okay we have seen these two options also the jql or manage structure if you want you can add the fields etc also here if you want to add any new issue if you want to search and all you can use this option if you want to change anything from here to there just go click here and it will change like this it's not going to rerun because you are using the generator it will change it so it will like this only because you are using automation if you want to copy just click on the copy if you want to cut just click on cancel it will removed it got removed okay so like this you can see we will see one last thing under issues let me add epic epic click on apply only one issues are there okay i am stopping the video for some day. so like this you can create the structure you can manage the structure okay click on here uh, create a structure this is your view which we already saw create a structure we have seen manage structure manage effector get a structure click on manage effectors you can see all the effectors ok do you want to clear one just clear the effectors do you want to change the effectors just click on revert it will uh, change it ok come here manage structure manage structure we already seen how to uh, change the structure name how to change and all like this you can work on the structure and to end details i have provided to you thank you for watching